Hi guys, I am back today with another grocery haul. You guys have been requesting them saying that you love these videos, so I thought I would do another one. You can see here I just got back from the grocery store. Now for this video, I really am going to try to keep it short, like I'm going to try to fly through the items just because I've done like five other videos exactly like this. So I want to just kind of get it out of the way and not really give tips and tricks this video, just show you what I bought for how much and just kind of again show you that eating clean, eating pure, eating raw does not necessarily have to be more expensive. By the way, have I shown you guys my T25 shirt? Um, that's one thing I love about my challenge groups on Facebook because every time you complete a program you get a shirt which is a constant reminder of you know all the hard work you put in and just accomplishing the program, getting through it, being a graduate, sharing your passion with others, sharing your results with others. I love the shirts, they're comfy, they're for everything. But anyways, let's get started right over here at the very end. I always have a big tub of vinegar on hand for cleaning and cooking. I have two things of mushrooms, a bag of six tomatoes, Greek yogurt and the little tubs. Normally I get the big tub, but my daughter has been kind of picky with yogurt lately, so I figured I would just get the little tub and make it easier on myself, not waste as much money if she doesn't eat it. I got three of those. I got yellow rice, two bags of it. I've talked about it in the past. My husband, this is one thing that he enjoys, so not healthy, but it's something that I keep around. If anybody knows how to make some kind of like yellowish rice healthier, I would love to hear from you. Anything that kind of sort of tastes like yellow rice, I mean, I know it's really fake, but you might have some ideas. I bought a rotisserie chicken because I'm going to make chicken enchiladas. I bought a cucumber for salads. Ground turkey meat for turkey meatballs for the kids for lunch. Turkey sauces to throw in with noodles. Two bags of salad because I eat salad every day for lunch. A big bag of red seedless grapes and a bag of green seedless grapes. And here we have bananas. We have great tomatoes and three small heads of broccoli to throw in salad or eat for lunch or whatever. Another food that's really bad for you, but my husband enjoys cheese potatoes, so um, I bought four boxes of those because they were buy two, get two free. Then here we have beans, another bad food. <laughs> More beans. Sliced peaches with 100% juice, enchilada sauce, organic jelly because it's the only jelly I will give my kids. That is one item that I do splurge on. Peaches and more enchilada sauce and some mayo. Here we have wheat thins, whole wheat spaghetti, ketchup, whole wheat noodles, this is my first time buying these little squeeze things, but my kids, you know, they have to eat breakfast in a hurry before school, so I thought I'd give them a try. The only ingredients that this has is apples, water, and absorbic acid, vitamin C. So these have no sugar added, they're natural. Um, I'm going to see how the kids enjoy those. Mustard and green chili peppers, laundry detergent, and Ezekiel bread, which is the best kind of bread you can get. Even people that swear off of bread, swear off of grains, anything like that, they eat this bread. It is a great bread. Maybe I'll do a blog post on it. I won't sit here and talk about it all day long. Raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, almost every fruit you could think of, um, blueberries, a red onion for a quinoa corn um, salad, sweet potatoes, these can be chopped up for the children, you can eat them at dinner whole, um, add some olive oil, a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt, coffee, I don't drink it, my husband does. Then in here we have more fruit, we have apples, oranges, and a red potato that fell out of a bag. Almost done, we're coming to the end here. Cabbage, my husband likes to shred it up, add some salt, add some lime, and you have a little side for your dinner. Peaches, limes, and mangoes. 
My fruit is all falling out of the bags here. Three more bags, I think. Then we have red potatoes and golden potatoes. My kids like mini wheat cereal, pasta shells, whole wheat, and more of these little squeezable things. Cleaning supplies, no big deal. Fish sticks, because I'm trying to give the kids a little more variety for lunch. Butter, butter like a lot of things, as long as you eat it in moderation, it is a really good healthy fat for your body. So don't just skip out on butter, but do not get the fake spreads. Get real butter. Cheese, so that they can just pick on it on their plate, or cheese to add to enchiladas. Cheese for grilled cheese. Uh, whole wheat buns. And imitation crab for crab ceviche. And pineapple. So as you can see, the majority of this food is basically fruits and vegetables, any kind of fruit, potatoes, that kind of thing. Um, so the majority of it is really, really healthy, and um, oh, the, the receipt is coming apart, but I spent $180 on all of this. One little tip I did want to give you guys is that if you have like a local market, like we have a Mexican store two blocks from our house, and we buy a lot of our fruit from there. We buy a lot of bananas, avocado, that kind of thing, and it saves us a ton of money. So look for kind of local small businesses and check their prices as opposed to the larger stores. Also, I had a lot of comments about what to feed your children, and you all want to see videos about our meals throughout the day. The truth is, I eat the same exact thing every day for morning, or for breakfast, every day for lunch, and as for everything else, I feed my kids the same thing. They eat what I eat. Even if they're picky and they don't eat, fine. If they don't eat their dinner, then 30 minutes later I will offer them fruit. But they do not get a whole separate meal than I do. You have to keep trying to present them with clean foods. And you have to show them that you're eating clean foods. So for instance, my daughter, when she was younger, she loved corn. But as she started getting a little older, like she ate a little bit of it, then she started not eating any of it but I still offered it just about every other day, either for lunch or dinner. And yesterday, she ate four like big servings of corn after not eating it for months. So I put a food in front of her that maybe she wasn't gonna eat every day, but I knew she enjoyed in the past, rather than trying to feed her like green beans, and she gave into it. So just keep trying. I hope that these grocery hauls help you. Like I said, I will leave um, the rest of them in the bottom bar. Also, and one more thing, you know, maybe I spend a lot of money on food or you'll tell me, well, that's great for you. You have the money for food. We don't. But here's the thing. Everybody has different priorities in life. You know, one of my biggest passions is fashion and beauty. But people wouldn't ever be able to tell because I do not go out spending the money on that stuff. I don't go every paycheck, buy new clothes, buy new makeup. In fact, we rarely buy new clothes. I mean, maybe once a year for myself and the husband, and I do most of the kids shopping on Black Friday. So, it's just a matter of priority. This is what I prioritize my money on, and I will continue to prioritize my money on food because this is what is fuel for our body. This is helping to get rid of toxins, helping to keep us sick or keep us healthy from toxins. So, everybody has a priority, like I said, you know, maybe you needed to start thinking about cutting certain things out of your life. If you want to eat better at home, perhaps you can get rid of TV and instead do like we do and sign up for Netflix and Hulu, which combined is like $20 instead of $80 on cable. Or maybe instead of going shopping every six months, just cut it back to, I don't know, a medium-sized shopping trip a year or whatever. You have to find the things that you can cut out little by little to give you more money for what's important and more money for your family and keeping them healthy. So I hope this helps and I will see you guys later. Bye.